On the first day of Christmas, Roddy said to me, Get out your bed. There's many cars to do. So today, good morning everyone. Today we're at Mondeo. It's a 2006 titanium. So customer's complaint is extensive heat of the rear driver's side disc. Before we talk about the Mondeo, here's something else. During Black Friday, I purchased this OBD 11. Uh, I got it for £87, direct from the manufacturer's website, and it's for VAG cars, so Volkswagen, Seat, Audi, and I think it also does Bentley Roddy, a Lamborghini, oh. we've well, experienced them many times in here, yes. so, and plus this gave you two years for the 87 quid plus, is it 400 credits or something like that, so, you connect it to your mobile phone, so, there it's there, I've just left it on my car keys, so if I come over I'll vag even when I'm at my work, I'll never miss a job again. So I use an Android phone, so you launch it, let me see, I'll connect it to a car later on. Uh, you download the app, OBD11, you register it, and then you detect the problems. So I did my car, my son's car last night, uh, it's a little Polo 2010, connected, found all the modules and a, a problem with a coil, but it was fairly quick, not as quick as VCDS, nor does it have graphing uh, off the PIDs, uh, but we'll see how it goes. One of the good things about this is you can pay using some of your credits to do some extensive coding, which would be quite complicated if you had to do it manually, but this little thing can do it, so... We'll see how it goes for, I think Amazon sell it for 120, but that's only with one year's license, but I got two years license for this. Anyway, back to the Mondeo. We're doing the, the rear <coughs> caliper and the wheel bearing. There we go. So, so basically it's to strip everything down before you take the, the wheel bearing off, because see these nuts, they go right through the other side and it's a T55 Torx, so you can get them halfway out and then they just stop, so you're better to clean them up, then continue. But about this job is taking these bolts out for the back here, the access is quite poor actually. So that's the new ones back in because you get new bolts with the kit. Uh, so see how this one goes, and always remember to put your ABS sensor back on. So the second car of the day is a Vauxhall Vectra. And this one's got a cracking steering wheel. There we go. And gear stick, just my favourite colour. So customer's complaint is the wi the window wipers are not working, so we'll just see they're trying they're trying to move. Mm. Let's start it up. See the scooters are working. Mm. Good we'll try, see if it's strip out Problem. of the cowling. It's jammed and oh, where's it came out of the top there? Oh, there we go. Give me that ball in there. Right. Does that go underneath there? Aye. Oh. What's this bit for? That would be the cap on you, eh? So I'll need to move, try and move the motor. Aye, I'm trying to move the motor to get that. Right, we'll see if that goes. Aye. See what we can do with that. So we just popped this arm back in the ball here at the bottom, but there's too much moving movement in these bushings. And it's okay when it's free running like this without the wiper blades. So we need to find a solution for that. What we have to do before you change this, because we've ordered just the new linkage and we're keeping our motor, so you're better to mark it up uh, to know where the linkage goes back on about. So you can see that's roughly like that. It's quite easy to take out this one. It's just uh, three of these torque torque socket you put in it can't remember the number but it's quite a quite a small size we better to put a shifter on it and then we'll just buzz this one off indeed it's a 12 maybe we're ready we go on. so a new mechanism fitted let's see if this works. There we go. 
moving all smoothly. Right, let's get the wipers on. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Oh. Must have run out of washer fluid. Anyway, they're working. <laughs> 